we are asked to complete the table below by placing the terms of the given expression in the first row from left to right and the coefficient of each term in the second row. For review, a term can be a signed number, a variable, product of variables, or a product of a signed number and a variable of variables. And here are some examples of terms. A coefficient is a signed number multiplying a variable of variables. To help us identify the terms and coefficients, let's rewrite the subtraction as addition and also change the form of some of these terms. So the given expression is equal to 3x, and let's write minus 7y as plus negative 7y. Remember, subtracting a positive is equivalent to adding a negative. And then we have plus 2x squared divided by 5. But let's rewrite this as 2 fifths times x squared, which is just 2 fifths x squared. And then we have minus t. Let's write minus t as plus negative t. And then we have plus x to the third divided by 7. But we could write x to the third as 1 times x to the third. Once we recognize this, we can write this term as 1 seventh times x cubed or just 1 seventh x cubed. So multiplying by 1 seventh is equivalent to dividing by 7. Having the expression in this form makes it much easier to identify the terms and the coefficients. Where the first term is 3x, the second term is negative 7y. Looking back at the original expression, notice how because we have minus 7y, the term is negative 7y. The third term is 2 fifths x squared, which we could also enter as 2x squared divided by 5. The fourth term is negative t. Again, because we had minus t, the term is negative t. And the last term is 1 seventh x cubed, which we could enter as x to the third divided by 7. And now to identify the coefficients, where again a coefficient is a signed number multiplying a variable of variables. So because the first term is 3x, which means 3 times x, 3 is the coefficient. The next term is negative 7y, which means negative 7 times y. The coefficient is negative 7. The third term is 2 fifths x squared, which means 2 fifths times x squared. 2 fifths is the coefficient, which is why it was helpful to have the term in this form. Now for the term negative t, we can think of negative t as negative 1 times t, and therefore negative 1 is multiplying the variable, and therefore the coefficient is negative 1. If the term was positive t, the coefficient would be positive 1. And for the last term, 1 seventh x cubed means 1 seventh times x cubed. The coefficient is 1 seventh, which is why it was helpful to have this last term in this form rather than x cubed divided by 7. I hope you found this helpful.